Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. I want to show you a really quick trick on how to work effectively with stack views, because stack views are sometimes one of those things that can really work well and save you a lot of constraints, but if you don't lay them out right, you will get ambiguity in your layout. So let me show you one trick on how to remove that ambiguity and make sure they work. What I've got here is a header view I want to add into a table. And right now these are just four labels, an image view, nothing's laid out. I've given the image a 100 by 100 width and height, but I want to use these in a stack view and lay them out unambiguously. So how can we do that? Well, I'm going to start by just selecting the four labels here and I'm going to embed them in a stack view. So that's nice. This is one stack view here, but to get this layout over here, I want to add another stack view. So I've got one here and then I want to go horizontally across here. So I'm going to select that stack view, this sun, embed these in another stack view. And now I've almost got what I want. I just want to pin this parent stack view containing both these to the edges. And I'll just do that quickly by pinning them 16 to each edge. And if we do that now, and I add these constraints, it's almost working. I'm just going to change one constraint on this guy. I'm going to remove that ambiguity by just going here and aligning these to the top. Okay, so I've got a nice, beautiful, unconstrained layout. I'm using stack views. As far as my nib can tell, everything looks good. If I run this in the app now and we take a look and see what this looks like, everything is going to lay out okay. In other words, our app will look good. But if I come down here and I check the console, we'll see that I've got ambiguity in my layout here. Something's broken. It doesn't quite like some of the constraints I've had. There's some kind, some kind of conflict going on in here. What's the matter? What's going on here is we've been too precise in how we've said this stack view should be laid out in relation to his parent view here. It's too rigid. So the number one trick to working with stack views is this. Make them collapsible by taking your trailing priority here and making it an optional constraint and taking your bottom pinning here and making it an optional constraint. And when you run things now, what you'll see is that things will look the same, but when it comes to checking the console, whoops, I keep hitting that. When we come and check the console, we'll see that there's no ambiguity there. Everything's perfectly laid out, and that's how you work effectively with the stack view. To look at it another way, visually what's going on is this. We've taken a stack view, we've pinned it to the edges of our view, 16, 16, 16, but we've basically taken these two and made our stack view collapsible by making those optional constraints by reducing their, the value of the priority from 1000 to something less than 1000. That's how you make these constraints optional. That's how you enable your stack view to stretch or grow by not rigidly pinning it to every side of the view or the nib you're in. So anyways, there you have it folks. One quick tip for working with stack views. This is something I ran into recently on a project I was working on. If you like these kinds of tips, hit like, hit subscribe, do come back and we'll do some more exploration of iOS programming together. Okay, take care everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.